found somebody, I say you don't cross my mind. And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine. Now I take the long way home, avoid what I can let go. about you but sometimes I do cause sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on first avenue cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first all of the turns that I had to unlearn back to the surface the feeling of all that we were I don't always think about you till first avenue when I do Hello! Hello everybody! I feel like it's been a while since I've just done a vlog. Like I feel like I've been doing sit down videos. So today we're doing a vlog! And hopefully it's exciting! So basically to give you guys the rundown it's 9 30 right now i'm gonna go get my nails done so i feel like literally the last vlog well the last vlog i posted was on halloween the, but the vlog before that i got my nails done and it's funny because my mom was like do you want me to make you a nail appointment for tomorrow and i was like yeah i should probably get my nails redone but i honestly don't even know what i want like i usually know and pick it out the night before but yesterday i had work and i came home so late and i was like I don't, I don't even have the energy to sit here and pick out nails right now and I woke up this morning and ate breakfast and just kind of got ready and so that's about it. So we're going to go get our nails done, our, my nails done and then we're going to go to Barnes & Noble and we're just going to have a little fun day. It's going to be cute, it's going to be fun. So yeah, I'm going to drive to the nail salon. I'm not, my car is not really good at like vlogging and driving like the setup in my car and I don't have a car tripod. So I'm just going to go to the nail salon. If you want to imagine me listening to like Drake, Frank Ocean, Harry Styles, Taylor Swift, Christmas music, you can because that's really all that I listen to. So yeah, but until then, I'll see you guys in the nail salon. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Love ya. Okay guys, I am here three minutes before my appointment because I had to go stop by the ATM and I'm going to look on my nails Pinterest board really quick to see like if there's a specific nail design that I want to do. I think I might just go with this black and white one because it's just simple and oh my god, this lady, of course, out of all of the... Out of all of the parking spots, she decides to park next to me. It's okay. Um, but I'm thinking about doing this one. It's just black and white, it's simple, and I'm planning on getting my nails done again before Christmas, and I think that's when I'm gonna go more like Christmassy, but right now, it's, well, it's, what is today, Tuesday? Thursday's Thanksgiving? I don't know. But I think I'm just gonna go with that one. So we're gonna download that image. I'm gonna pop in my AirPods. You can't even see me, hello. I'm gonna pop in my AirPods, and we're good to go. So, I'm out of the nail salon. I don't know why, like, when I get my nails done, it's not like it, when you would, like, paint your nails with nail polish, like, when you're, like, scared to, like, nick it on something. But I'm still like that. Like, every time, I'm, like, I'm scared to, like, hit something. But anyway, got my nails done. And I got literally, as I'm walking out of the nail salon, the, she's so nice. The girl that works, like, the front desk there, she was like, oh, my God, I love your nails and I love your hair. And I was like, thank you. And then this other lady was like, oh my god, I love your nails. Like, I love them. And I was like, thank you guys. So it looks like this. I'll probably also like insert a picture, but I think that this looks good. They look, they look amazing. I love them so much. But now we are going to go to... We're going to go to Barnes & Noble. And before we go to Barnes & Noble, I think I'm going to stop by the Starbucks that is on the way there because, oh my god, I did not realize like how tired I was until I was sitting in that chair and I was literally about to fall asleep because I just woke up like 
in the middle of the night and i was like and i was drenched in sweat and i was like having like an anxiety attack i don't know why like it was just so bad and i didn't i could not go back to sleep until like four o'clock in the morning and then i woke up at seven this morning because anytime i know i have an appointment i like can't sleep and i think that also messed with me and then there were just some other i don't even know like i have no clue but so i just am so tired i think i'm gonna get starbucks so now i'm gonna go order my starbucks let's see because there's like a starbucks like right by here but i want to order it mobile and so i'll just go to the one that's closer to the barnes and noble because that makes more sense to me okay so we just ordered it super excited so I'm gonna go in my directions just to make sure I'm going to the right one but I'm pretty sure it's the right one so hopefully it is I don't know we're at Barnes and Noble there's literally half price books across the street and I was debating on going to half price books but then I was like I want to go to Barnes and Noble but should I go to half price books first like in case there are some books that I would buy here that they're or at half price books but i decided to come to barnes and noble first but i think i'll go to half price books after depending on what i do in here but i think we're gonna go inside we're gonna see i don't have anything particular in mind i do have a few like holiday books that i do want to read in december but i'm like do i want to buy those you know like i definitely i don't know like do i want to buy those or would i just want to read them on like libby or something so i don't know but let's go in here because this barnes and noble has a way better selection and then if we don't have that much luck, we'll go to Half Price Books across the street. So, let's go. I feel weird walking into Barnes & Noble with a Starbucks drink, but, you know, whatever. That someone's company car is a tesla that just drove by i swear i can't make this up so you guys saw that i went into barnes noble i didn't find anything in there for some reason like that barnes noble is usually way better than the one that's closer to my house but i was already in this area today so i went to this one and they just didn't have anything so i went to half price books and i found the flat share and this is actually a book that i've been wanting to read for a really long time and it was in the hardcover which isn't my favorite i hate reading hardcover books if you didn't know that about me i hate reading hardcover books but this cover is like so cute i love this one this is like the cover that i see everywhere and i'm like i love that but this was only 13 dollars and it's usually 27 so that was a really good deal but i'm about to go to another barnes and noble <laughs> Because I don't know like what I want to buy but I think I may buy these um, it's like a series but it's like these Christmas books I don't know though I don't know don't take my word for it but we are going to go to another Barnes & Noble because I'm literally insane so hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far are you if you are like it okay guys I just went a little bit crazy like maybe more maybe more than a little bit also this lighting is so bad right now and as you guys may have saw in these clips I went in there and at first I picked up these like two holiday books and another book that I ended up getting but I was like I can't find like anything that I really like but maybe I'll just buy these like holiday books 
but I really didn't want to buy the holiday books because I was like I kind of don't want to buy books that are like just for Christmas time and I know that this wouldn't be like a book that I absolutely love and would like want to keep on rereading and I was a little bit disappointed and then I went to this aisle and I literally found the Holy Grail. So first of all, I'm gonna show you guys the book. Um, I got It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey because I've seen so many people talk about this and this was the other book I had with the holiday books that I was thinking of getting and I've just seen this everywhere and so many people love it and so I'm like, okay, I'll read it. It was either this or I was gonna buy Tools of Engagement by her. It was between the two, but I've seen a lot more hype about this one, so. And then I found then I found, I didn't even know they carried this, but then I found From Luke Off With Love by Mariana Zapata, which is a book that I have been, this has been like at the top of my TBR for so long. I actually have The Wall of Winnipeg in me on my Christmas wish list. Like if my mom didn't know what else to get, I told her to just get like these specific books that I don't have. And this one wasn't on there, but the other, this other Mariana Zapata book is, I am so freaking happy. Oh my God. I was literally like, ah. Oh, Huh? This and finding the flat share today are like my two like oh my god I can't believe it. And then to put the cherry on top I found these two books. So I found The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. If you guys watch Steph Bohr you would know that this is like a book that she talked about a lot. So this has been at the top of my TBR for a while but I just don't like ordering books on Amazon. Literally nowhere was like having this book and I freaking found it and found this other book say you still love me by the same author and I've heard good things about both of these books so I was like I just have to get them so I went a little bit crazy but I did like I have a Barnes and Noble membership so that takes money off and I found a coupon online so we're doing great so anyway I'm gonna go back home before I spend any more money because that's not something that I need to do so I'll see you guys back at my house I'm so excited like the serotonin that that gave me I've been having such a bad like few weeks and that sir the serotonin that just like flew through my body after I found these books is kind of embarrassing like why why do I get so much serotonin from this like if my loved ones are watching that always make fun of me for like always wanting to buy books and everything it's just what makes me happy so let's all just let destiny be happy okay anyway we're gonna go back home now <laughs> now that I'm done freaking out we're gonna go back home so happy. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, <laughs> mm. Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Want to drink? <laughs> Want to another drink? No. Okay. We're done. Okay. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. We're back home. I'm about to eat a salad. We're gonna get my Starbucks cup that's Christmas. I got it like two years ago or something. It says Magic Cool on it, but it has a peppermint straw, so that's why. Drinky. 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 But I'm about to eat that. We're chilling. We're watching Paw Patrol. Everything's good. So yeah, just a little up update. I came home and I changed into what I was wearing this morning because I literally just wore to bed. And it's comfortable, so. Anyway. Hi! Yes. Okay, everybody, so I'm upstairs and I was just putting all of my books away when I realized that um, we're out of bookshelf space. I mean, we already were with my little like Harry Potter corner right here. If you guys have not watched my bookshelf tour, definitely go watch it because I just uploaded it like a few, I think it was last week that I uploaded that video. Um, but yeah, 
out. So um, this is where some of my new babies are. Snipple Wild, Have One Summer, Say You Still Love Me, and then of course, Hating Game. Like my favorite book ever. It's right here. Um, Colleen Hoover shelf, and then I didn't add any right here, but then I had to add um, from Luke Off with Love right there. Oh, and then the flat share is down here with my hardcover books. So, had to do that and then realized I don't have any more shelf space. So I feel like I've done a lot today, and it is only, well, it's almost three o'clock, but still, I feel like I've done a lot today. Right now I'm gonna try to finish Heart Bones by none other than Miss Colleen Hoover. I'm not sure this was like, I think this is her most recent release, and I am currently, let's go check on my Goodreads, and also I just wanna say thank you guys who follow me on Goodreads, because you guys are so like interactive with me on there, and it's so cool to like see what you guys are reading, and you guys always like my updates for what I'm reading, and it's just like super cool. So if you guys are into reading or books or anything like that, and always wanna see what I'm reading, but in between like videos and stuff like that, then go follow me over on my Goodreads. I also have a story graph account, but I don't know if you like follow people on there, but I also have that, and it's always down below, so. Yeah, but right now I am about 61% through this book and it's just like such a simple, easy read. So I think I can finish it within like the next hour. So that's what we're gonna do. Update time. So it is like at 3.40 right now, so it was about an hour, and I finished Heart Bones by Colleen Hoover. I don't talk about, like, if I have a wrap-up coming up, I don't usually speak about um, books and what I rated them, but I'm just going to go ahead and say this book was just a 4 out of 5 stars for me. I'm not going to go all into it because that's what my monthly wrap-ups are for, And um, but this was a good book, and this is actually my 10th book of the month. So this is like my number 10 book that I read this month and I've actually basically kind of read just all Colleen Hoover this month. I think there were only like three books that weren't Colleen Hoover. Without Merit is the only other book for like November that I'm like, I need to read this in November. I don't, I'm not really worried about reading any other books, but if I feel like reading another book this month, then I will. But this book is a book that I'm like, I need to read it in November. What else did I want to do today? It's only four o'clock and I feel like I've done so much. Um, I don't know. I'm honestly probably just gonna watch some YouTube right now. <laughs> like that's really all that I have on my schedule. I'm probably gonna watch Fine Man 3 right now. So who knows, who knows? See you in a bit, see you in a bit guys. Hello everybody. It's like, wait, why is it not focusing? No, focus, focus, focus. Okay, it's hours later. Obviously, we can all tell it's dark outside right now. Me and Isaac are watching All American, but we had a pause because Isaac wanted to be on FaceTime. I was doing business. He was not doing business. I actually was. Talking to Zach is his business, I guess. I am making a list for an upcoming video because a lot of people wanted to see Christmas gift ideas for guys. So I'm trying to come up with those right now because I'm really good at giving gifts. Right, Isaac? Yeah. Right now, me and Isaac are chilling with Spidey right here. If you guys didn't know, this is a Squishmallow I got the other day. I posted it all over Instagram because I don't like Squishmallows. Never wanted a Squishmallow, but I went to Walgreens, saw this, and it had to come, it had to become a part of my life. So yeah, just thought I would update my mom's downstairs making dinner and we're all we're all chilling 